In a half-filled classroom at the Ateneo de Manila University, a group of students are nearing the end of a specialized course in Chinese for business. The university has been teaching the language in the Philippines for 20 years, but only recently have the classroom started to fill. Chinese teacher Sidney Bata explains. When I came in this university in 1998, we had very few students, and then um, it was peaking come 2001. This is, um, in my estimation, related to Chinese um, economy surge. So as, as the economy goes better, we have more students. It is estimated that around 40 million people outside China have taken up Chinese, and the figure is expected to reach 100 million by 2010, leading to a high demand in teachers. To deal with this increased need for Chinese specialists and to promote Chinese culture throughout the Philippines, the Confucius Institute, a non-profit organization based in Beijing, has partnered with Ateneo de Menino University to set up a new center from which teachers can be trained and new courses offered. Director Dr. Ellen Palanca explains the need. The institute was established in 2006. And since then we have had uh, cycles of classes and the number of students uh, enrolled in these classes have reached 3,000. Back in the classroom, the students are perfecting their tones and learning new characters. This group are not Chinese majors, but rather come from many different departments in the university. With the pressures of study already high, I asked them why they thought it worthwhile to take extra classes in Chinese. Um, we need it for like talk communicating since there's so much Chinese people around the world. And also for business since um, the mode of communication right now, like with my family is talking to Chinese businessmen. That's why I think it's really important to study Mandarin. This is DJ Clark in Manila, the Philippines, for China Daily.